Okay, uh, great, great win uh, for Colorado basketball today. And, you know, uh, but more importantly than that, our hearts go out to Oscar and Silva and his injury, and I hope he's okay. And uh, I said this on the radio, but I'll say it again. You know, I got great respect for Coach Haas and, and how he, he handled that and his team handled that. And uh, I'm proud of how our guys handled that. Uh, but it was unfortunate. Uh, injuries are part of the game. It was certainly nothing that we tried to do, but – uh, we had a gr great group of guys, and they responded. Our fans responded, and, and uh, but my hearts go out to Stanford. They get they're down two guys, you know, two starters, uh, with with Oscar going out, and um, the Will's kid uh, twisted his ankle the other night against Utah. So, you know, they're down a couple guys, and and uh, but they battled and they fought. And uh, as good of as a win it was for Colorado, it was a tough loss for Stanford. But I just want them to know our hearts go out to them. It was emotional. Again, I think I think the way their coaches and their players responded, and the way our players responded, and was was really special. How hard is it to get back in the flow of the game after? Uh, it's hard. It's hard. It's really, really hard. And that's why you know, that's why I'm so proud of our guys. I mean, Evan obviously was emotional about it. It's it's, it's an emotional day. It's an emotional game. And you know, sports brings out emotions in people. It brings out emotions. Sometimes it's good. <laughs> Sometimes it's bad. You saw some bad emotion from the Colorado coach at the end of the first half. Uh, sometimes it brings out the worst in, in you and in, in me so, uh, and in players. But sometimes it brings out the best. And, and that's an example, I think, you know, today of, of the best. Yeah, look, you know, bench production sometimes it comes and goes. I'm not. I'm. I've. I'm, I, I. I saw the same stat you did. So I. I think you know, uh, it's a very astute observation. But I don't think I'm. I'm not going to uh, uh, look too much into that because I just think uh, I've got confidence in the guys coming off the bench. And we shortened the bench a little bit tonight. Uh, some of those guys didn't get the minutes that they normally get. And and, uh, but. Uh, uh, we're going to be fine. This this team's depth, you know, just guys have to be ready and when their number's called. And sometimes it's difficult when, excuse me, it's difficult when you don't get, you know, Maddox didn't get a lot of extended minutes tonight. Eli didn't get a lot of, he got a little bit, but, you know, Dalen didn't and Dallas didn't. So uh, certainly Stanford did, you know, they, they had the injury and, and, and they, you know, coming into altitude, I think they were planning on playing more people anyway, but uh, I don't play. I don't read too much into that. Our de our bench is good. I've got confidence in them, and, and I think that'll turn itself as as the season goes on. I know 59 points second half is yes. It's great. Did you feel like the defense dialed in a little bit though in yes. the middle of that? You had a 16 to two run that could put you in the lead. We kept talking. The only way we're gonna get this thing shrunk is to get stops, and then when we got the thing tied. You know, wherever we tied it, I can't remember what the score was. But now at the uh, that next time out, okay, now the only way we're going to get this thing to, to Colorado's advantage is to continue to get stops because you cannot trade baskets with teams and, and, and get ahead or, co or come from behind. So, you know, it's about getting stops. And our guys did that in the second half when they needed to. Um, and again, Stanford was down a couple guys, but they run good offense. They got, you know, I was really disappointed again. You know, it reminded me a little bit about Northern Iowa. They didn't make, you know, 14 threes, but they made 12. We fouled three-point shooter twice, you know. Uh, again, that's 14 threes they made. <laughs> it says 12 in the stat sheet. But, and, and 10 of them were from their shooters. Now, you know, the ones from uh, the big kid, uh, Delaire, you know, we'll, we'll we'll live with those. You know, he's not a shooter in the scatter report, but he's a Division One player on scholarship, so he's capable of making a three. You got to adjust to that. But man, we knew White, we knew Jones, we knew Terry. Those guys can can knock down threes. We got to take away threes because that's again the great equalizer. That's what kept Stanford ahead and, and and certainly in the game. You know, as long as they were. <laughs> yeah, we did. Basketball took a second seat in this game. Yep. Everything's working against you. The bounces aren't going away. The refs yep. are. To get the comeback, one of the biggest comebacks in school history, how proud of you are 
Yeah. I'm really, I'm really proud of our guys. They're, they got, they got what it takes. We may not always play well. We may not always shoot well from the free throw line, but we're a good free throw shooting team. So, like, it's what you, what you can't do is feel sorry for yourself, you know, because, you know, look, it's just part of the game. You just got to toughen up and come down and get a stop. I mean, sometimes the, the ball doesn't bounce your way. And so, uh, but our guys, they got, they, got, they got heart. They got toughness and really proud of them. You almost tell your guys shots are going to start falling if they keep yeah, getting I, open shots. And yes. I said it in the timeouts, Neil. It's like, guys, our shots will start coming. They, they will. We're getting great looks. They're, they're going to come. We got to dial in on the defensive end. We got to take their threes away. We got to make them. And that's easier said than done. Stanford is a very, very good basketball team. We beat a really good team, a shorthanded team with De Silva's injury and with Wills being out, but a very, still a very, very good team. And, uh, you know, they've hit a rough stretch in their schedule, but uh, uh, they'll be back. And we, we got we to gotta go back to the Bay Area, you know, at the end of the year. So we'll see them again. And, and uh, uh, it's, I got, again, I got great respect for Stanford. How do you feel about this team going into the Oregon Trail? I'm sorry? How do you feel about this team building momentum? I feel good. Yeah, I feel good. Now, it's, you know, we know that Oregon trip's tough, and Oregon's one of the most talented teams in our league. Um, so it's not easy to win there. We're going to have to strap our boots up and lace them up and, and go, go let it all hang out. And, you know, Oregon State beat us here. Um, so I, I know Oregon – the one thing I know about Oregon, they'll be ready. You know, they're well coached. They're a talented team. They're down a couple guys. I expect probably one of their bigs to be back. I have no idea about, you know, uh, Infale Dante's injury, but I know the Okoro kid, it sounds like he was away or out of the country for his father's funeral. So, um, 